Mark, a point away from home. Your thoughts on the performance? I thought it was a professional performance, full of heart, desire and endeavour, but I thought real tactical awareness as well. I think we really executed our game plan and we would come ever so close to uh, making it the perfect perfect afternoon where we've had our counter-attacking chances. Um, but, you know, if you come away and get a point here, you, you've got to be pleased. Um, if, you don't, if you're not strong, out of possession here, they will hurt you. Um, so we had to be organised, we had to be dogged and hard to beat, and we certainly were. And um, I felt, you know, we frustrated them, limited them to not many chances, but they're always going to ask questions constantly, so we had to constantly be on our toes. But we, we've really worked hard for that point. Of course, a couple of changes made. Obviously, Josh comes in up front and Cody makes his 100th appearance today. Yeah, fantastic for Cody to get that that milestone. But not only that, for he's been out from a large period and to come in again, done 90 minutes. You know, Ben Schroll's done the same, Giles Phillips has done the same. They've come in and stood up. Um, so it's great to have him back out on the pitch. Um, and, and what a way to celebrate that that milestone with a clean sheet away at you know the top of the table side. Um, but look, we're definitely not getting carried away. We've, we've shown some promise today and this is gone now and we turn our attentions to Tuesday. Spoke about it after the Bromley game, obviously the disappointment of going out of the cut, but to respond the way we have, like you said, coming against a promotion chase inside and get a point away from home, it's a great result. Yeah, definitely. And like I said, there was positives to take from Saturday. There was frustrations because we're at home and it's in the cup, but we limited Bromley. You know, Mitch didn't have a save that day and, um, you know, he's been called into action a couple of times today, um, but, you know, we, we are hard to beat. We are dogged. Um, and now we're starting to put our game onto them as well. But um, we're certainly showing characteristics needed for where we are in the league and, and the nature of this league. And we've just got to continue to keep wanting more and keep growing. Because of course, early on in the game, we actually had a few chances of our own and maybe feel unlucky that maybe on a different day they'd go in. Absolutely. And we, look, we started the game really well and we created a few openings. But if you come here, you've got to make the most of them. Um, and look, we, we went close a few times. But I think that's the next, the next part we're looking to improve on is when we get our chances and our opportunities to try and make more of them um, because you know like I said I think we surprised them a little bit when we started and and then we just need to make the most of those periods. Obviously the one I'm thinking of in particular in the second half obviously Chambers done really well down the right and he's crossed it back and Harrison's there and it's an easy goal. Oh it's agonising it's a it's a it's a tap in isn't it and it's just gone agonisingly behind him Chambers done ever so well um, probably at the angle I had couldn't quite see what happened but it was like Harrison had his hands in his head as though like it was it was that close. But look, not to be. We've we've kept a clean sheet, so we'll take the point and uh, we'll, we'll move on quickly. So obviously, we've touched on it as well. Obviously, after we've had these chances, Chesterfield have responded, and we've done well to see it out both in the first half and the second half. Yeah, absolutely. Look, they've got an, an arsenal of players to hurt you, and they ask lots of different questions. You know, they can go hurt you in a range of ways. And um, but I was pleased. You know, there's, we didn't play without. We didn't play with fear. Um, you know, we played with heart and endeavour, and I, f I felt we really um, nullified them. With, 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 you know, and they've got such quality as well. So uh, to keep a clean sheet here, we're, we're going to be pleased, but we're certainly not getting carried away. And of course, a clean sheet, maybe not too many this season, but something to build on moving forwards. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, like I said we were unlucky last week not to have a clean sheet. I think we don't give up too much on our goal now, and we pride ourselves on that. We work hard on that, but we've got to continue to do that. We've got to keep looking for for improvements and refinements. And I say to you every week, Henry, it doesn't it doesn't change. You know, work hard, get better. Is that the I suppose the priority at the moment is maybe focusing on the defensive side, making sure we're tough to beat first and then everything that follows afterwards is a bonus. Yeah, I think so. And I think earlier on in the season where we went so close to winning so many games and we didn't quite get the wins on board and then confidence may have swayed a little bit and then we had that Wrexham evening where, you know, again, it wasn't the worst performance, but from the outside it looked really bad because they really opened us up when they had their chances. So we had to... Go back to the drawing board and you have to get defensively strong. You have to have a structure, especially when you come to places like this. If we didn't have that, we would have been, we would have been hurt. Um, but we're resilient and we're strong and we're learning and we're growing all the time. Of course, next week sees us play two of your old sides. First league South End on Tuesday. What's your thoughts ahead of that game? Yeah, they don't come much tougher again after. They're in great form. I think they've got some great people down at that football club and, and good people are now in the right places down there. And I think they're really getting a grip of that club now. Um, so they're in great form, um, you know, fantastic support behind them. And, um, you know, they're, they're, it's going to be a really, really tough challenge again, especially after travelling away to a tough place like this. We put a lot of energy into this game, but there'll be no excuses. We'll be ready to put our best foot forward and, and embrace the challenge of the next game.
or you move the shot, look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.